four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. What is it about artists' proclivity to self-destruct? We've seen that in documentaries about the likes of Amy Winehouse and Brett Whiteley, and now street artist Anthony Lister. There are times while watching that you want to grab them by the shoulders, shake them and ask them what the heck they're doing and what's most important in their lives. The irony is that they spend all this time pining for what they had with only themselves to blame for kissing it all goodbye. In other words, is artist success and excellence worth the destruction of one's personal life? That in essence is the big takeaway from Have You Seen The Listers? I knew nothing about Anthony Lister when I entered the cinema, but I'm a lot wiser now. He's known for challenging conservative Australia, for rustling feathers in his native Brisbane while battling his own demons. We witness his rise and frequent falls. Born in 1979, he completed a fine arts degree at the Queensland College of Art. He helped pioneer the stencil and street art movement in Brisbane before moving to New York in 2003 and several times since. It's hard to categorise his art because it seems to be constantly evolving. From superheroes to ballet dancers, he paints, he draws, and he creates installations. He consistently exhibits around the world, in New York, London, Europe, and in Australia. In 2010, Art Collector magazine named him as one of this country's 50 most collectible artists. The amount of footage that Lister's kept of his personal life and being able to readily access is nothing short of amazing. And that's what gives us a visual insight into his growth and maturation. He came from a broken home. He fell for the girl who later became his wife while I was still at school. By all accounts, they had a great thing going, had three children, and then his self-destructive lifestyle put paid to all of that. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. In amongst the personal stuff, there's a lot of creativity on show. How he went from an impoverished artist wannabe to a world-acclaimed modern painter, forever wanting more. We see how his style of art has changed over the years and the phases he went through. We also witness some of the battles he fought against the establishment and drugs. It's all compelling stuff, beautifully put together by director Eddie Martin, who was responsible for the documentary Lionel about Lionel Rose. For all the mealy-mouthed words that Lister uses as part of the narrative, I couldn't help feeling that he never learns, because he appeared to go from one self-destructive episode to the next. In other words, his life, for all his artistic achievements, has been one big personal stuff-up. The train wreck makes for compelling watching, but to me it's just plain sad that a guy with more talent than most would empower his demonic side to almost destroy him and what he'd built up. Have you seen the listers? Scores a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Subscribe to the full podcast at Audioboom, Stitcher and iTunes or your favourite podcast distributor. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.